to make wooden shoes. You can find it in your own language. Poplar tree, sometimes willow, alamo, or sauce peuplier, or sol, topol, by young moon. The traditional way for making wooden shoes used old-fashioned tools. The big knife to shape the outside with. Method antigua grande cuchillo para la exterior dos Le grand couteau pour l'extérieur dans la méthode ancienne. The inside shape was done using various shapes and sizes, spoon scoops, various barrenas, plusieurs gouges pour creuser. It was a job that took about three hours for one pair of shoes. With the machines it's five minutes, so we're quite happy. <laughs> Now we start with an old German machine, 65 years old, built in the 1930s. It is a copying principle. It's like duplicating keys, we follow the model. I've got some fast spinning knives to cut the same. Thing. Outside shape, easy enough. The inside, same system applies. Again, we have a model. Mismo principio per l'interior. L'interior, you know, grâce à la machine française. visit here, the soccer team, gave them a lesson on the machine, so now against Brazil they also got it in the hips. <laughs> no problem. Now that's the inside. We have two remaining pieces, the heel and toe, which we'll cut off with the big knife to show you a bit of the traditional way. The modern machines, computerized, they put in four blocks of wood, two pair at the same time, automatically cut off, automatically set. <laughs> Cinquenta percent of the pesos is agua. Cinco percent du poids et de Okay? We dry it in the wind. It takes about four weeks. On a sèche lentement. On va. Se cargo a venir al vento después. Polido. Finally, it's a wooden shoe or a pair of wooden shoes like this. It's for a child of about three to four years old. For an enfant de trois ou quatre années. For un babino niña, niña de tres años. And we wear them always big. We wear them with thick socks and the finger space behind the heel. They will move around the foot, so if they're too small, they will chafe. Okay? And this way they're comfortable. Easy to step into, easy to take off again. Work them in the garden, they're like slippers for outside. After working in the garden, you get your feet dirty. You come home, you take them off outside the house, you keep the house clean, the wife happy. Warm, waterproof, they offer good protection for the feet. They are cheaper than leather shoes, which was the economic reason. Uh, the poor man's working shoe, also they were popular. And then orthopedic, no restriction on blood circulation, good arch support. Okay, nowadays we have two styles left. 
either a pointy toe or a round toe. In the old days, all the different shapes from different regions. All the wooden shoemakers had their own style. You could recognize where somebody is from. Painted ones who go to church. The carved ones for the wedding. Love symbols, eternity symbols. You could carve in the name also, but not too deep. Because you still have to go and ask her, do you want to be my wife? She said no. Take off. <laughs> the new one. Try it. Okay? So I think if you're next to Chris, it's going to be some other time. Yes, then the younger people are still coming back. People that are now 40 years old, they still